Hey beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Brie and today I am bringing you a fall inspired full set. So go ahead and get what you need. You already know we just jump right into our full sets. So get your snack, get your drink, get cozy and let's get into this video y'all. You know I'm going to start off with pushing my cuticles back. That's like the number one step all the time forever. Okay, prep them cuticles before you do anything else. That's what I do but anywho let's get into it girl So another thing I do is I go in with this circular drill bit. I call it my cuticle drill bit. And I go in and I just clean up my cuticle area, make sure that my cuticle is still not stuck to my nail bed. Sometimes with my plastic cuticle pusher, it doesn't fully get it off of my nail bed. Sometimes if I don't push it back, yeah, I know it could be dry. Yes, okay, I gotta do better. But sometimes I, it doesn't work fully. So I go in with this drill bit, make sure all the dead skin is taken off around my cuticle as well as my cuticle taken off my nail bed. So when I apply my acrylic, it doesn't stay on my cuticle because you never want acrylic on your cuticle. You're, that's not a good thing to have. But anywho, so that's what I'm doing here on all my nails. So here I'm brushing off the excess dust. My dust collector was not turned on. I had too much going on. But in this next clip, you will see it on because you will see the dust being sucked up. So what I'm doing here is I'm going in with my 180 sanding band on a slow speed and I am going and I'm removing all the oils and the moisture from my nail bed. So when I do put on my nail tips and the acrylic, it adheves more better. And my brush is back. I'm doing this because I'm now gluing on the nail tips and I don't want the dust to be in the way. So here we are gluing on the nail tips as I just stated. I'm going in with my Kiss nail glue as you quickly seen but now I'm going to go in and figure out what numbers match my nail beds and glue them on. So as you guys seen, I did get some natural nail tips as well as some clear nail tips because in this set, I did want to have some see-through nails when I did this design as you guys will see towards the end. But now that I went ahead and found the numbers for my nail beds, I am using the glue now to just apply my tips, girl.
Y'all, that nail glue was giving me a headache, okay? I was not sure what's going on with it, but I had to hold them nail tips on for a minute, okay? Thank God I fast forwarded though, so y'all, y'all good. But now we're here, so I'm cutting the nails to the size that I want, the length that I want, and I am doing like a schmedium look because that's kind of what I like. I've liked short before, but now I'm starting to get into the length. So, you know, but I am going and I'm eyeballing the length with the nail making sure it works as you see I tap on the table to make sure I can still type and you know do what I do but anyhow that is what I'm doing here All right, beauty. So here I am going in and I'm shaping my nails. Uh, you know I'm going to do square. <laughs> I am starting to come around to other nail shapes, but my forever go-to will be the square shape. So that's what I'm doing here on all my nails. All right, beauties, here I'm going back in with my 180 sanding band and I'm just removing the shine from my nail tip as well as making sure that the place where the nail tip and my nail bed meet, there's no lump and nothing, you know, uneven. And I'm making sure all this is happening because I want to make sure that the my acrylic sticks as good as possible because if your acrylic doesn't stick your acrylic will eventually start unsticking from your nail tip and then there'll be gaps and things can get caught in there and you don't really want all that so like I said I'm removing that shine from the tip and also blending in that part where the nail tip meets my nail bed and yeah y'all I know shaping my nail takes a minute and I also do it twice because I do it after I do the acrylics and I'm sure that's probably not what I should be doing to save time so your girls looking into getting some pre-shaped nail tips it's in the works okay I'm starting off I'm beginner so I'm just working with what I got but I'm definitely starting to understand a lot of more a lot more things Ugh, excuse me <laughs> I'm understanding a lot more things while I'm doing nails and practicing them um, you know hey you live and you learn but yeah just a little FYI
All right, beauties, it is now time to apply the acrylic. And in that little jar, I mixed loose glitter with the Mia Secret Clear Acrylic Powder. And I made sure that there was more acrylic powder than there was the loose glitter because when I pick it up, as you guys seen, I wanna make sure that I'm picking up a bead and not picking up just straight loose glitter. So that is what I did there. I mixed it up, made sure it got the right consistency and once I did that I did go out and apply this to my index finger as well as my pinky because that is part of the design that I wanted to do with this fall set so yeah that is what I'm doing here and then I do go over the top again with a coat of clear acrylic just to make sure that it seals in I did end up learning <laughs> that I did not need the clear acrylic because of how thick I did the glitter but you know again you live and you learn you won't know until you do it y'all so that's what i'm doing here So like I mentioned earlier, I did want a few of these to be clear nails. So I am just going to go in with my clear acrylic and add it on top of my nails that have no acrylic. <laughs>
and here they are acrylics are on yes y'all it is nighttime now <laughs> if y'all don't know i do my nails at my nail station in my back it is screened so i don't have to deal with no bugs or anything sometimes a moth gets in here or there but you know your girl digresses but anywho so now i'm going in with my fine coarse nail bit and i'm making sure that my nails are pretty much not lumpy um taking off the excess acrylic if there was any and making sure that my girls are looking nice and fine i also use this nail bit at a high speed not too high but like mm, i'd say a medium high speed because i want to make sure that i'm able to get in there and get the access off but i also don't want to burn myself due to the friction so just an fyi <laughs> again And here I am going back in with my 180 sanding band. Yes, I use this thing a lot. I feel like there's mul it's a multi-purpose use thing. So use it, girl. But I am going back in with this drill bit. And I'm making sure that it is now all buffed out. Everything is smooth. Everything is right. And everything is nice and even. So when I do apply that nail polish, you know, you don't see any lumps or anything like that. And it's not sticking out like a sore thumb. You know, sometimes you have have a nail like that or two like you just did way too much but hey i'm in the learning process you know like i said earlier what y'all oh you live and you learn <laughs> anyways so i'm just going in and making sure everything is buffed out with this nail bit now all right beauty so here i am back with the shaping i am going in just to touch up the shape again i am using a more grittier nail file the last nail file i used was a fine nail file obviously because it was still my natural nail but now i'm using a more coarse one because i want to make sure that these edges are sharp like i said okay so i'm just going back in and reshaping it touching it up making sure it looks good to go Y'all, I know it takes me a long time to shape my nails, but when I tell y'all, look at that. Ooh, I love a good square shape, and I love when it comes out nice and crispy. So, you know, I just had to shout that out real quick. <laughs> but here I go, continuing to shape. <laughs> 
All right, y'all, and we made it to the design part. I am going in with the base coat from a nail kit that I received on my birthday. Go watch my birthday haul, and I'll have more information on this kit. It is a gel polish kit that I got, and this is the base coat that came with it, so I'm doing the base coat first. And I am also applying the base coat under my nail tip because, like I mentioned, I wanted a clear nail, and I feel like doing the bottom of the nail tip makes it a true clear nail that you can see right through it, girl. And that is the base coat. Just with the base coat, it's already looking nice. Oh, I love it. But that is the base coat that I used, and this is the top coat that I will be using. I use the top coat to hold the gems on my nails. I recently did get some rhinestone gel, so I will be trying that out. But for now, I am using the top coat just to make sure that my diamonds kind of stay. And what I'm doing, sorry y'all, I was out of frame, but I got y'all right. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm putting just a glob of the top coat I'm not doing the whole nail just the part where I'm adding the diamonds and I'm just putting some top coat there and then I'm going in and I'm adding the diamonds and then you will see me then cure it to make sure and the diamonds that I'm doing on this pinky are the same exact diamonds that will be going on my index finger so it can kind of be you know similar <laughs> Sorry, beauties, I forgot to cut the camera on as I started doing my line work. However, we are here, okay? And yes, I know I need to get a resin dish or something so I can put my gel polish on and not on my desk. But again, I'm working with what I got. <laughs> so I'm going in with this maroon color and doing like a half French on one side. As the other side, you will see what I will do. But that's what I'm doing here. I'm doing this on my ring finger as well as my my thumb. After I cure the first layer, I'm just going back in with the second layer just to make sure that it is covered and colored. So now I'm going in with a silver chrome looking color and I am pretty much doing the other half of the French as an outline as you see there. Boom. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing on my thumb and my ring finger. And again, I am going over the outline with a second layer, again, just to make sure the color is there. And once that has cleared, I am now going in with the other diamonds to add on to my other fingers. And for the thumb, I am adding a bow diamond as well as for my ring finger.
All right, beauties. So I am going to do the same thing with the ring finger as I stated. And then for the middle fingers, I just went ahead and colored it solid maroon. And then I lined my cuticle with some diamonds. You guys will see the ending result shortly. But that is the ending of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this full set. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and rocking with your girl. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you guys been coming back. And go ahead and hit that like button if you like the video. And don't forget to hit that bell also so you can know when your girl posts because, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> and shout out my MVPs. I appreciate you guys so much. But until next time, beauties, I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.